Are you ready to dig up some donkeys? Stick around. Hey folks, Keith here, Chicken Thigh Fishing. Welcome aboard. It's a gray, overcast fall day. I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. The decent temperatures are going to be few and far between as we approach October here. So I'm trying to get out whenever I can. It's going to pour down rain in about three hours or so. And I guess that depending upon whether or not they are hitting, We'll decide whether or not we stay out in the rain. Here we go. I'm gonna start off throwing my usual to see if I can get a feel, throwing some spinner baits, some crank baits, and some swim baits. You know, Fall can be tough when you're going through that fall transition on a pond and the water flipping over and uh, I've covered an awful lot of water since I've been here with several crankbaits, spinner baits, and uh, some different swim baits with nothing yet. So we're going to change it up and see what we can get these guys to hit. Good fish. Wow, he hit a lot bigger than that. There we go though. All right, that's what I was hoping for. It's not a bad looking fish for a first fish. I will take it. That fish came on the Magnum Gilsonic crankbait. And uh, I tell you what, honest to God, I thought he was bigger than that. That was a strong fish. So I covered quite a bit of water before I hit that fish. And I hit him in about six feet of water over a rocky bottom. Now a little luck, we'll hit a couple more in this area. All right, we're gonna change up a little bit and go deep here. I've been covering quite a bit of water on places near shore. Uh, I haven't been throwing at the shore. I've been throwing at rocks and weed beds that are, um, you know, a, a little bit off the shore. And all we got was that one fish. It was a good one. Um, I'm going to try and go a little deep here. And I'm trying to feel my way along a shelf here. And I can feel this 10XD bouncing on the bottom. So I want to get a little further out. I don't have my electronics on me today because I had to send them in for repair. So I'm just kind of going by feel. So I'm going to hit that 20 foot range. 
see if we can dig anything up from down deep. Making it tough on me today, man. And that rain's coming. It changed up to a little bit of top water here. Well, thank goodness we didn't get skunked. We got that one good fish early, but I'll tell you what, they are on strike today. And this is one of those ponds that's got eight billion rock bass and crappie. So when you're not even catching those, which are usually aggravating you while you're trying to catch bass, it's gonna take me some work to figure this out. I may have to go up on shore, throw frogs and uh, maybe a creature bait or, or a jig up in there or even a spinner bait up in there and pull it through the vegetation up front because uh, they may be tucked up right now. I do believe I have a 10 inch worm tied on and ready to go. So I think I'm gonna throw that in there and see what we happens with that. Boy, when you can throw a 10 inch swirl tail worm back into the junk and not catch anything, it's a tough bite. If I don't catch one right here, they've all been abducted by aliens. It's a clear case of an alien abduction. All right, are you seeing what I'm throwing at and I'm not catching anything? Man, I hope those aliens bring my fish back soon. Cause this is ridiculous. I'm gonna have to throw a frog in there. Come on now, a one-armed guy in a coma could catch a fish on a frog here. Well, call me one-armed coma. All right, we gotta think this through. There's only one way to fight a case of alien fish abduction. Chocolate. brought one of my fish back. Wow, he just got caught up in my trolling motor too. Nice fish.
All right. I changed up the color of the spinner I was using. I went from a bluegill to a river shiner. And that bad Larry scoop that up, yes sir. See if we catch a few more. Maybe all we needed was a color change. Man, when you can run a spinner bait by a raft that looks like that in the rain and not catch a fish, that is something. Well, we've got two really decent fish, but at this rate, we could stay all night and catch four. So we got to figure out what's going on. There's a good one on the Gil Sonic. Thank goodness. All right. I was beginning to think we weren't going to hit any more fish. Gil Sonic is hitting. Yes. Love that crankbait. Love, love that crankbait. Nice fish. Boy, did he belt that. Man. He pulled drag on me on that one. That fish roped that bait. Wow, he smoked it. Nice fish, not huge, but beautiful, awesome.
you know, why don't you lose the little ones? Two fish in a row that pulled drag on me. One because he was mean and strong and the other because he was huge. There's a decent one on that spinner bait. I took a break from that Magnum for a few minutes to shoot at the shore here. <coughs> Maybe I'll try that a few more times. Well, folks, that's all she wrote. It's starting to rain, it's freezing, and it's a school night. I gotta get up early tomorrow. So thanks for joining us. Thankfully, there wasn't actually an alien abduction and those fish were there. We caught a few good ones. They were nice ones. We hooked into a couple of donkeys, too, that pulled drag. And after looking at my lure, now I know why we lost that big one. He bent my hook right out. Look at that. So, I gotta put a new hook on there. That was a big fish, what a shame. But hey, we'll get them next time. Thanks for joining me on Digging Up Donkeys. We didn't really get some donkeys today, but we got some mini donks. We'll see you next time. Until then, stay fishing, my friends.